Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. We are a global Methodist congregation. All this week, I have been looking at the attitude of gratitude in this week leading up to Thanksgiving week and unpacking what it means from a Christian perspective to be a grateful, thankful person. Today we're going to be looking at the story of Jesus found in the Gospel of Luke, the 17th chapter, starting in verse 11 and reading through verse 19. Hear now these words. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When Jesus saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he was, saw that he was healed, he came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. There are several very fascinating aspects to this story. First of all, the location. On the border between Galilee, which was a predominantly Jewish area, and Samaria, which was a predominantly pseudo-Jewish area. The Samaritans were kind of like the the in-laws to the Jews. They were considered to be the, the dark side of the family, the backward side of the family, the, the people that had been so corrupted by failing to truly follow the Jewish faith that the Samaritans were looked down upon by the Jews as being dogs, as being pigs, as being not worth one's time or energy. And here's Jesus walking along, and there are 10 men who are lepers. Now, leprosy in the Bible is a generic term describing a variety of skin conditions that in the Hebrew scriptures in the Old Testament, anyone who had these kinds of sores on their body, this kind of pus, and the, the it's just ugly and gross, they were ostracized by everybody else. So here's a village, 10 men with leprosy from a distance, because they're supposed to keep their distance. They call out to Jesus asking for pity, asking for mercy, asking for healing. The reputation of Jesus has preceded them and, and they know Jesus has healed other people with leprosy and so they're hoping maybe he would do that for them and Jesus says, go show yourselves to the priests. There's no healing in that, is there? But off they go, still being leprous and in their sores, going to see the priest and on their way to go see the priest, which is what the Old Testament law is, when you are cleansed from your leprosy, the priest will confirm that you're brought back into the fold of being with the rest of the people. As the 10 guys are on their way to go see the priest, to see this happen, one of them looks down and goes, oh, I'm cured. And he immediately, turns around and goes back to Jesus. And this time, not from a distance, he falls at Jesus' feet right there, close proximity, and says, thank you. Where would you be in this story? Would you be this guy who came back to Jesus, or would you be one of the nine who didn't go back to Jesus. 
I find it fascinating that nine of these lepers receive the glorious gift of healing from Jesus and their attitude is gratitude. I got it. Oh yeah, I'm good to go. And they don't go thank the one who made it happen. Only this one, this Samaritan, this bad person becomes the good person, the best person, not because he's a Samaritan, but because he is grateful. And so Jesus gives him that confirmation, rise and go, your faith has made you well. This man recognized that Jesus is the true highest priest who is able to fulfill that Old Testament rule, go show yourselves to the priest and be welcomed back into the community. My friends, let's find Jesus. Let's let him heal us and let us be grateful for that healing and thank him so that he will say to you and me, rise and go, your faith has made you Gratitude, not grabitude. This is who we are at Goldston Methodist Church, a people showing our gratitude, our thankfulness, our joy in our salvation in Jesus Christ. And we invite you to come be a part of what we are doing together as we pursue holiness, as we seek to be the people of God in this little community just outside of Raleigh and Winston-Salem and Greensboro, Fayetteville. If you are geographically anywhere close to us, come join us at 185 Hillcrest Avenue here in Goldston, North Carolina. We will gather for our children's and adults Sunday school experiences at 10 a.m. followed by all of us in glorious spirit-filled worship at 11. If you can't be with us physically, then you're welcome to join us virtually. Be a part of the gathered community through Facebook and YouTube. They're not as good as person to person. I'm going to say that right up front. But if that's the only way you can interact with us, then that is a modern option. But I hope that if you do it that way, you're still connected physically to another body of believers because God is the incarnate God. He wants us to be engaged person to person physically. That's why the leper went to Jesus and fell at his feet, not just waving from a hundred yards away. So join us in whatever way that you can and get close to Jesus. And I'll see you on Monday for our next daily devotion.